Um, you already kind of know um, uh, who she is. It's uh, Solange Bollet. She introduced herself. And I'm very, very happy to have her here because uh, she was also supposed to speak uh, in this Horazes conference in Portugal that was uh, canceled this year. In fact, it's been translated formed into an online version so uh, even though we both live in switzerland kind of like uh, an hour away from each other and never met in person but uh, solange uh, as i mentioned before is like the perfect speaker for the event because of what she does and uh, who she is and um, i will just pass through the word solange because you've interviewed more than 800 people so you probably know how to handle this medium way better than I do. So um, I'll, I'll give the word to the professional. So thanks for joining. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marcelo. So I would actually, since we just played, I want to play some more. And um, I'm wondering if the ones that are not showing their video, if they can, you know, um, show themselves, because it's actually something that we have to do with our videos. So just um, if you can, would you like to turn on your camera? Yeah, some of them may not be comfortable with that because you're live streaming and it's being recorded. So that's... Uh, uh, okay, so, so, so the ones that feel comfortable, that would be cool because we can only do it with the ones that show their video. But, but it's fine if you don't want to. But so I, we just do it with the ones that are in, in the video. So um, I'm gonna start. So I, I cried, kind of create like, you know, uh, an energy ball here and I'm going to mention a name. I'm going to throw it over to that person. The person grabs it, right? And then calls another name and throws that energy ball to like the next person. Make sense? So you just always mention the name, you know, of the person that you sent the energy, energy ball to. Okay. So I am going to start with... Suli, okay? So I'm sending you the energy ball. Pew. Like Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> so you send it to the next person. Got it. Uh, Paula. We cannot hear you. Suli. Uh, Jessica. Patricia. Chip. Oh, is she here? <laughs> she, she, I don't know if she sees us. <laughs> Maybe oh, okay. someone else. I'm just else. giving it to Marcelo instead. <laughs> oh, but I, you, you have to imagine me throwing uh, the ball. Uh, <laughs> okay. Back to Solange. Thank you so much. So we do something else. And we can either receive that ball or what we can also do is like, boom, meaning we reject it, right? So it goes back to the person who sent us the, the energy ball. Okay, so I'm gonna send it to Patricia. Julie. Um, Jessica. Boom. Uh, Michele. We can't hear you, Michele. Michele. Your oh, audio. I have, I have an unstable connection. Sorry. Ah, okay. But connected, disconnected, and I guess so. I, if I understand correctly, I have to give the energy to someone, I give it to Catherine. That's what I can do. I, don't, I'm, I, for, I was off for about five minutes. Oh, okay, thank you. It I worked. Got it. <laughs> hey, um, Mark, are you there? Yes, uh, so long. Thank you so much. So, okay, so that, that was a little exercise, which I think is reflecting life so beautifully, right? Sometimes life just flows. So you're receiving a ball, you're sending it, bum, 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 bum. It just works really well. You know, you're in the flow. And then sometimes, as Jessica showed so beautifully, you get rejected. And you're like, what, what? You know, I'm putting all my energy and efforts into life and into this thing that I want to do. And then I just get rejected. I don't understand life anymore. Right. And so what I would like to do when, when we talk together throughout these 20 minutes 
like let's interact right i see for example down here you can like leave reactions you you see that i think you can clap and you can say yeah i hope <laughs> i hope you you know you do exactly catherine you just showed it um or if you have questions along the way just type them into the chat box and that you know makes it a lot more interactive and also fun for me to talk right so i was you know receiving this question if i would like to join and speak about wisdom i was like "Ooh, that's a big word right like wisdom what does that even mean so it it's the quality of being wise and then i'm like whew for me a wise person is like someone with like you know white hair like very old and wrinkly living somewhere in the jungle you know maybe but now i am asked to share my wisdom and i was like hmm, okay i don't have white hair yet i don't live in the jungle and i'm just you know i'm a social human being like all my peers but then i was diving deeper into the word wise so wise i was like writing it down and i was like okay these four you know these four letters w i s e what do they stand for for me right so that was like the first question that i was asking myself and that brought me very close to what in my life wisdom is all about so the w for me stands for wild right being wild but with wild i don't mean that you have to be loud and crazy and you know like all all over the place but what i mean by wild is being you know like just your true self your authentic self if you have a crazy idea or you want to do something and it, it's just a little wild a little bit out of that norm do it because if you're wild what that actually stands for is your individuality if you you know suppress your wildness it's like a flower right if you let the flower in the wilderness just come it's beautiful and creative and different and you look at it and you get inspiration from if you then you know have a gardener taking care of the flowers so that they look all the same and super beautiful it kind of looks nice but it's a different sort of inspiration because you know well this flower looks exactly the same than this than this than this and guess what next year it's going to look exactly the same again but the wild flower right has like you, there's just a lot more to explore so if you have this wild side inside of you and you show it to the world what will happen is your individuality will shine out into the world and people will be inspired by you so that is like one element for me that you know looking back at my life what brought me to where i'm at right now is definitely a factor you know that i count in which is super important the other one so w the next letter is i right so when we take wise so the i for me stands for my inner voice this is my compass and the older we get the more we are like trapped in certain systems and there are things that we are supposed to do and there are other things that we're not supposed to do it depends on the culture that we're in you know but social expectations are here and we're either you know trapped in those social expectations or we keep this wild you know side inside of us and we also listen very deeply and carefully to our inner voice and that is crucially important and when we are very young when we're super young children we have that inner voice and it's just there we just know and the older we become the more we are like well yeah but my mind my brain tells me something else or 
my parents tell me something else or my teacher tells me something else or my friends do tell me something else, right? But what do I hear inside of myself? What do I feel? This is the inner voice. And this is really, if you want to have a successful and fulfilled life, this is your compass. It, it's really building trust to that inner voice. So you have with your wild side, your covering, you know, individuality, your personal identity and listening to your inner voice that really, you know, gives you that trust that whatever you do in life, if you do it with good intention, you can trust that this flower, this seed that you put into the soil is going to grow and flourish. Right? So that's like the second letter. Now the third one, the S is street smart. Now, what does that mean? This is also something that we do not learn in the regular education system, but we need it very much out there in the big world once we leave the education system. Right? So um, maybe you can, like, I don't know, can you raise your hands here? Or like, is this, so, or you can like probably like, you know, react like this with, with the thumbs up. Um, if you, you know, if you know, if you had an experience in your life where you felt, ah, I was street smart. Who of you had a situation like that where you're like, ha, 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 I did well. I did it a little differently, but I got to that point where I wanted to get. I got what I wanted. So who had such an experience in their lives? And maybe some digital thumbs up, is that possible? Like this? Ah, Mark, or what's, yeah, Mark is your name? Marcelo? Yeah, and the ones that are still like, you know, exploring, I am certain, absolutely certain, you will discover moments where you are like, huh, I have not learned that from the book. So I'm not book smart, but I'm street smart, meaning I learned it through experiences along the way. And then the, the fourth letter, because these are like, th like, you know, being wild, hearing your inner voice and being street smart, that's all great, but it needs one more component to be successful and fulfilled. And this is empathy. Right, so the E stands for empathy. Now, um, does everyone here understand that word empathy? Because that's a big word, or would you like me to dive a little deeper into that word for you to understand better? Maybe just write a note into the chat box. So it seems clear, right? So it's like this ability to, to really tune into another person and worth explaining. Ah, okay. So um, it's really the, the ability to, you know, dive into another person's situation and feel how this person must feel under these given circum circumstances and then react to it with a lot of compassion. And that is a tricky one because empathy is not sympathy. Sympathy is when someone is like sad and then you also are, you know, you're, you're like tuning into that situation and how this person might feel and then you feel sad as well because then you're both sad. So you're not helping anyone, right? But it's like, diving into this other person's feelings and emotions and then you know finding the right words to like bring this person up into a healthier and more joyful state of being right so that is that is empathy used in a very positive way so um, 
One other thing that I wanted to ask, what I wanted to add to the word street smartness is this is very much, you know, um, solution oriented. And this is another big, big word that you will find out there a lot, you know, when you go out into the big world. People want you to bring solutions, to be proactive. And even if you're a little bit shy, but think ahead of like, well, if I want to change, you know, a specific topic, we had that earlier, like, you know, the, um, for example, the education should be accessible or higher education should be accessible to everyone. Or um, I think there was something about global warming. Mark, I think you mentioned that. Um, so these are like big topics, big words, and a lot of people are talking about it. But just talking about it is not really helping anyone, right? So, but what you can do is you can be at home, you know, go into your own wild self, into your identity, trust that inner voice, and then come up with a solution. So what can I actively do to change or contribute something to the change of that topic where I want to see change and then go out into the world and communicate it with empathy. Right? So this, this is like a little formula that you can probably take home. And whenever you are like, you know, confronted with a situation where you're like, ah, oh, yeah, what was that again? W I S E wild inner voice, street smartness, and empathy. And with these four components, I can just briefly share with you, I was, you know, um, I started out as an actor. I moved to the United States when I was in my early 20s. I didn't know anyone there. I didn't really speak the language. It was just, I just had my inner voice sending me there. So I followed, I was wild, right? And then I had to be street smart to kind of like find a way to survive. And then I opened my heart and I found a way to do that through empathy. I then came back to Europe. I had the chance to host over 800 shows. So I got to know a lot, a lot of people. And from there on, I was like, you know, asked to write books. I, you know, created my own little universe with the empathetic strategies, right? Which are very much connected to these four components that we now talked about. And I am now having the honor to talk to a lot of people and I'm you know, working with a lot of decision makers in business or decision makers in politics or also you know, from universities. And so, so we bounce back and forth ideas how to improve things and listen to the young generations because you are the ones that are guiding us so that we, we can like you know um, create the paths in which you then will be able to grow and that's why for me personally it's so important to hear your voices i want to hear your voices so if you want to share something if you have you know um, some questions now. I'm very open to, to answer them. You could also ask for advice on like a situation going I, through your life right now and how should handle or suggest you consider handling in that situation. So, uh... Absolutely. So you know, there are like two major target groups or like, you know, um, I, if you don't understand the word target group, it's like the, um, the, the people that I interact with. So on one side, it's like the big corporations, the big companies, right? And then on the other side, there are the startups. And I have not so much experience with the startups, but I get asked more and more to like support them. And my question is, you know, you as youngsters who have a lot of ideas and you want to implement them into the system, 
what can we create or open up for you to be able to actually do it? Is there something missing, something where you are like, we need more of this or we need more of that in order to really be able to do it, what we, what we have on our minds? How can, how can we support you? We, by we, I mean the adults who have, you know, the ability and, you know, the, the connections that are needed in order to, you know, manifest things. Or is that a little bit of a, too big of a question? Well, as you, you're the speaker, so you, you get to pick any of your victims. So you can say, hey, yeah. Siri, what do you think? She's okay. Yeah. Oh. So she All should. right. I, my eyes are looking at Mark, even though I don't see you, but I see this beautiful globe. <laughs> so Mark, would you like to say something to that? What would you like to see in changing in the world that we adults can really do and support you to participate in that as well? Climate change in his case. Yeah, climate change. Yesterday there was a very interesting uh, pr presentation on um, on green hydrogen, and if more and more people start uh, looking at that and helping th this the green hydrogen, I think uh, it could get bigger and bigger in the world and expand so that we use it in our everyday life because the only way the price will go down of green hydrogen is if it can be produced more easily with less money having to be used for the production so if more adults well if more adults talk learn about this, help the companies who are working on green hydrogen, I think it could be a big change. And why do you feel that this could be such a big change? Well, we've had this problem that the last 50 years in the world, the, because of uh, uh, see. See what's right, I don't know how it's called in English. Uh, in German, it's see what's right. And uh, CO2. It's CO2. Okay, CO2. And, uh, and what, well, this is not helping the world because we're getting worse air every day into our lungs and uh, well, I guess we're going to die earlier if our, our, our lives get shorter if we get worse air. So if we can...